So far our war seems good, but I think we're getting really lucky. The fact that mostly Portugal and Great Britain's fleets, as well as a lot of their regiments, I'm sure, are dealing with Brazil in South America. Uh, so we're not really facing the full force of this alliance just yet. And unfortunately, Austria is doing nothing for us. He has just sat there with, uh, with uh, like a 50 stack, and he hasn't helped us out at all. So uh, this is pretty much me fighting everybody. Luckily, Great Britain hasn't gotten involved because that would make things even more complicated. Oh, look, Austria's over here towards Iberia, where we exactly do not need them. That's like the only spot that we really don't need them. They could have engaged these rebels, or they could have come, come and fought. They could have come and fought Sicily, but... They decided, I, I, I guess they decided, hey, yeah, I want to come in. This, is, this doesn't seem very hard. Uh, let's go ahead and help out here. And also, why does big ol' Austria only have a 50 stack? They should have way more than that. I, I, I don't know. Good thing is my manpower, I've stayed good with my manpower. Power. I'm, I've actually grown in terms of manpower, so that's good. I haven't really had to deal with anything too crazy. I think the, uh, the mercenaries have really helped out a lot, and I can't progress any further than, than just that. Uh, I should have thought about maybe landing... Some troops in Lisboa, which is what I need. Uh, yeah, maybe, hmm, maybe I still can. Maybe I should do that. Now, what kind of fort does it have here? A level 9 fort, oh my goodness. Uh, has a capital fort, uh, has fully maintained forts. Oh man, okay. So we're going to need a lot of troops there. I don't think I have enough transport ships to send them over once. It might be a, a two-trip job, which would be difficult because I don't want to go to the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, my fleet is prepared to fight things in the Mediterranean, but not in the Atlantic Ocean. With the galleys that we have, they'll help me inland, but not out there in the open sea. So I can either wait for forts to be sieged, or I could try to be aggressive and uh, try to get out of this ward now. But I guess I'm not really in that big of a rush. I mean, I could go towards Granada, which isn't bad. Can we go here? Can I go anywhere? There is... I guess we can go this way for now. We, d we should try to destroy some of these one stacks. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that, actually. Let's take out some of these one stacks. So they don't stop our progress. Boom, perfect. I mean, there's a few... There's a few smaller things that we still need to pick up. So let's try that. I'm guessing that Portugal's got to be hurting right now. They've got to be hurting. With their independence war at the same time, I mean, this cannot be good. There's another 19 stack. Uh, we, had, we had some pretty big success going out there in the, in the Atlantic Ocean and destroying the uh, British fleet. That was really, really nice. Uh, I think I might try to land in their capital province because that would just be so, that would be so big. If we're able to do that, that would be huge. Uh, as we continue, after, maybe after Granada... I'll try to send some things over there. Again, it's going to be like a two-trip two, two trip sort of deal, though. That's the only thing. But it's after Granada. All right, so so far this is pretty good. I'll even split you guys up. Yeah, we'll split you guys up. Where, where are you going, Great Britain? Where are you going? I saw you moving. You're still... Okay. Maybe you're going towards South America. I don't know. Just get out of here. That's fine. Let me, let me just handle Portugal. Let me slap Portugal around. Austria, where did you go now? Oh, hey, where'd those rebels go? Oh, Austria destroyed the rebels. Thank you, Austria. I almost forgot about that. I totally almost forgot about that. And let's go ahead and stop Sicily from progressing forward. I think we should be able to, with the 26 stack against 11 stack, I think that should be enough. It should be enough. All right, so we're, be we're pretty successful so far. Actually, the 29 stack could probably just move from here. Can he? Yes, I can. Boom. All right, so we're going we're gonna to stack all you guys on top of there. And we're going to go after the capital province, and that's all that really matters. Um, I'll split you guys up and try to continue to siege out the remaining forts and stuff like that, but that should be enough. Oh, yeah, this is good. We can't go inside of Porto. Can we go here? We can go here, and you can go here. Okay. Let's try to block these guys off because I know that they're continuing to build, like, one stacks and stuff like that. Okay, we're going to engage you. Just give us a second. Where are my ships at? Okay, so the ships are good. Uh, we're not going to go with that plan anymore. I, I'm going to go ahead and try to... Ooh. There's a 24 stack that we did not see in the past. Those are light ships. Those are light ships too. As long as we're not engaging heavies, I'm okay. I mean, we have heavies ourselves. But I know that these guys, both of these nations, probably have a lot of heavy ships. I'm, I'm playing a dangerous game by bringing my, my ships out there. But I know that I can make a lot of progress. Are you running away from me? Yes, you are. I think you noticed. Uh, hold on, I need to see exactly what I'm what I just defeated here. 
Okay. Either way, it's fine. Okay, I'll 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 fucking I'll fight Portugal by by themselves. I don't care. If they want to come after me, then that's fine. Uh oh, dang it, dang it. That's what I was saying. I'm I'm feeling a little bit nervous moving out this way. I just know that if I if I have my entire fleet destroyed, that's gonna be so bad. Brabant is here too. Uh, they're light ships though. And oh, they split up. They split up. Let's go after them. Where are they going? Land's End. We can go that way. Come on, chase him down. Chase him down. I hope that we don't get locked. Hope we don't get locked locked over here. Hope no one goes to the Strait of Gibraltar. I'm, I'm just waiting for like a huge, uh, a huge fleet from Portugal just landed in the Strait of Gibraltar. Oh, that is what I was worried about. The 23 stack of British troops. All right, I'm, I'm out of here. I was nervous. I was nervous. I'm glad that we caught that before uh, anything because I'm sure they would have chased after us now. Yeah, now they are. Local unrest. I'll just lose administrative power. I, I don't want more. I, I don't want any more stuff. Some bad unrest. I'm not really trying to. I'm not about that life right now. Okay, we'll move in there, and then we should be good. Okay, so Portugal is done. Portugal is not in a good spot. Even though I still only have three war score, I don't know how or why. Uh, still. Okay, we're going to unsiege this, get this back for ourselves. And, uh, good. Sicily's running back towards Sicily. Uh, Sicily is running back towards Sicily. There you go. They have ran back towards Sicily. Just waiting for Granada to finish up as a fort, and we'll be good. Uh, Portugal was able to land a eight stack somehow. But they can't escape. Not without a fleet, at least. Okay, so we don't need anybody else here. I might as well leave them alone. And I will. Maybe I, maybe I should go after Sicily. I'm not sure. Uh, I should send somebody kind of up north towards like like Normandy or something like that just to kind of prepare for uh, Great Britain. That's the great thing about this is I was able, I was lucky enough to uh, to pretty much take out Portugal before Great Britain w was able to do anything about it. So now if they were to engage us, that's fine because we fought one nation at a time. We got really, really lucky in that sense that we waited for this perfect opportunity while this independent war was declared. Uh, independence war was declared. So this is awesome. Yeah, this is this has been pretty good so far and look I can get you out of here too so you'll go up towards Normandy the other stack will help me fight uh, Sicily uh, Mexico has broken their alliance with Brazil look look look, look at that bam uh, so the independence war is over that means that we need to prepare ourselves Chile and Brazil have been uh, have been brought into the game so that means we need to prepare ourselves because one the fleets are gonna be coming back from South America and uh, any sort of army that still remains is going to come back as well. I don't think there probably is. I'm, I'm imagining that more than likely Brazil uh, probably took them out if there was anything else. If they were able to gain, if they gained their independence, more than likely they took out. I'm hoping the armies. I don't think they did anything naval wise, but hopefully they did. I, I don't know. Can we can we move in there yet? Uh, here, I'd like to engage the eight stack. Make sure they don't run away. Perfect. And I'll send you down this way. Perfect. Bam. All right. As long as Austria does their job, we will be set. We are going to be really set here. Technology, diplomatic technology, let's catch back up there. All right, let's make sure that nobody... Austria is still sending over units. I've got my 26 stack ready for Great Britain. That's probably not going to be enough, I know. But still. Okay, and the 27 stack. You know what? If I could give you a general, I will. I will give you a general. So we'll be able to really do some damage to the uh, Sicily military. And boom. Okay, let's wombo combo from north and the south. Wow, we didn't get any offensive penalties there. That's awesome. So I'm going to select you. Did we wipe them too? Oh my gosh, I think we did. Because we like flanked them like that, I think uh, that was how we were able to just completely wipe them. Okay, so we're going to go after a few forts. And Sicily should be no problem. Still, everything is occupied in North Africa that Sicily was, you know, had under their control. All right, very nice. And we are going to send you up towards the north, too. This has been good. I don't know how I only have seven war score. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I mean, if I peace out with Sicily, that will be helpful. Boom, there it is. It's about dang time. And let me make sure that uh, Austria grabs this. Austria, finish it up. Come on. Bring it home for us. 
I know that we're probably going to be suffering from a lot of attrition because it's a pretty big stack here, 3.7. Oh, my gosh. Well, at least we'll finish the Ford fast, and Austria should move away after that. All right. Let's go up this way. This is good. This is good. I wasn't expecting this, and we're still making a ton of money. Uh, I should probably send over a little bit more towards Sicily. I guess I could, uh, but I guess I'll leave him alone. I could leave him alone too. Japan tells us of internal conflicts. I could probably peace out Sicily right now, technically. Uh, still at 61 manpower. How, how was I able to retain so much manpower over this pretty big war? I thought it was going to be a pretty big war. I guess it wasn't, though. I, I guess I guess not. But I thought it was going to be, be like kind of a massive war. I uh, can't go any further. How are my boats doing? My boats are good. I'm going to try to land inside of Sicily with, with my own boats. Uh, there's a fort. There are, there's, is that an unmaintenance fort? Is that what that's telling me? Yes. has a mothballed fort. And there's the capital for it, too. Uh, they, they still have a 10-stack. Mexico has declared war on Japan. Wow. Wait a second. Is that because Japan is colonizing the Pacific side? Yes, they are. No, that's British Columbia. Never mind. Why would you do that war, Mexico? That's pretty ballsy of you. Great Britain controls Hawaii. Ah, there you go. That's pretty cool. And Austria. Austria is probably going to come help us out quite a bit with, uh, with Sicily, I'm thinking. You better give me way more war score than that. I don't even know what I want to take here. I didn't even think about that. I mean, we could always just sit here and try to take a whole bunch from Sicily. I think I will. I think I'll separate piece Sicily and take a whole bunch from them just because I can. And uh, and then we'll see where we want to go from there. Uh, I'm not really worried about this front anymore. Maybe I'll... Uh, do I want help? We don't really need help. I'm, I'm going to keep them there. And I have all my diplomats not doing anything. Look at that. Look at that Portugal, man. Oh, we could go after one more province, technically. I didn't think about that, but I don't think I want to. There's the 50 stack. How many heavy ships? Only five heavy ships, technically. Oh, my gosh. I kind of want to play with that and maybe go after them. Oh, but if Great Britain engages us, that's, that's the problem. At least they're not going in the Mediterranean. I feel good about that. Okay, come over here. That nine stack's probably going to come back, and that's fine. I'll let them come back. Wait a second. When do they get there? August 7th. Can I get there faster than that? We'd arrive at the same time. What does that mean? Uh, nice. Oh, nice. Look at that. Boom. Crossing and terrain penalty. Uh, even though we had the numbers, I mean, geez, that was that's bad. That is bad. They just got stack wiped because of that. Perfect. That was cool. I'm not sure if it's like a 50-50 toss-up or what, how that works, but nonetheless, well, that was pretty awesome. Okay. And I guess when this 25 stack's done, I'll try to go over this way. I don't think Morocco will give us military access. Also, I don't think so, but do they cancel military access automatically? Yes, because we're at war. I guess they do. Okay, I've got a lot of military power. Whoops-a-daisy. I totally forget about that. Oh, man, I don't have any more ideas to go for though so i don't know what to do in this scenario well whatever i guess whatever i guess that's just what i have to say i'm setting the 26 stack down i like to peace out sicily how, how am i doing in sicily i'm sure you're probably done yes you don't want to be in this war anymore but if you're willing if you're willing to give me some stuff oh okay that's not bad uh yeah yeah i'm gonna take that yeah i'm gonna take that okay can I ask for any more money? I don't need the money, but I'm just saying. Could I ask you to annul your alliances so I could take you out later? Um, just make sure you know this one. You, you, can, you can keep your money. No. Oh, that's not going to happen. Fine. Then give me your money. Give me your money. Stay. You know, it's fine. Stay allied to Portugal. I'll, I'll, I'll beat you up later. Okay, so we're at 36 war school. Wow, that didn't really help out that much at all. We'll run back, and uh, let's see what Portugal's willing to give us. Is Britain is Great Britain willing to? No, Great Britain is totally down to stay in the war, and I cannot piece them out because my my naval navy size is just not there just yet. You're not willing to give me anything for this? Are you serious? Uh, let's see. I'm at 36 war. Okay, there we go. There's three, six, 
Ooh. I could ask for a lot here. Wow. That's a lot of over uh, overextension, though. It's going to cost me a lot. I mean, should I be taking coastal provinces? I'm thinking I should, right? I could dip over here towards Granada. Not too much aggressive expansion either. I don't really care about aggressive expansion. I don't want that. Oh, I could take a huge chunk out of these guys. Technically, I could. And not even get that much aggressive expansion out of it, too. I could, I could just start to eat Portugal. I could just literally eat Portugal like that. Boom. Thinking about it. Certainly thinking about it. I, I think this is where it gets a little bit... I mean, how risky do I want to play? Do I want to play that risky? I'm willing to. I got a bunch of, if, if a bunch of rebels pop up, we, we should be fine. No more. I can't take any more than that. Here, can I take this instead? Oh my gosh. No, that's too much. That That's too much. All right, I'm going to take this. That's a pretty huge chunk as it is. Do I have the administrative power to core all this stuff? I don't think I do, but whatever. I'm doing it. All right. All righty then. Cool. Let's see how bad. Let's see the damage here. Let's see the damage. That's not going to cost us much at all. I'm guessing the Imperialist Castabella is like really amazing or something. But uh, yes, we are just going to core all that stuff. And now we are we are pretty good. Overextension is dangerously high. I know. I know. I'm not going to support independent. I'm not worried about that stuff right now. How am, I, how am I in terms of aggressive expansion? We're good, right? Oh, yeah. We're fine. We're going to kick that war off soon again. 1772 is the next time. I have 11 years. I can go to war with them relatively soon. For now, I would just probably go after maybe Morocco. Uh, until we can maybe take a bigger chunk out of Sicily and, and port. I should have had them annul their alliance with Great Britain, huh? I guess I should have, but I really wanted that land. I mean, I'm thinking maybe in two more wars, if, if they go as successful as that, especially because we can pretty much get to Lisboa a lot easier. If they're as successful as that, this, this next war, if we were to start another war with Portugal, it'd be a lot easier. Because we had to, like, grind our way to the top. Um, although may not, it may not be easier. We, I, I am forgetting that Portugal and Great Britain were involved in, you know, new world affairs, uh, which was, you know, needless to say, amazing for me that, uh, they were mainly over there dealing with stuff. Uh, 16, I don't have 16 administrative power yet. What's up with that? Well, now we do. All right. Well, yeah, that was good. And we didn't really lose much at all because of it. Wait, wait a second. What? Why do I only have... Oh, because this guy sucks. I'm switching it then. 1099. There we go. That's better. Uh, yeah, that's much better. All right. That that was... That went impressive. That went so well. Because that was without anybody. That wasn't without... Uh, that was with Austria. Without Austria, pretty much. I mean, Austria helped us out a little bit. I will say Austria taking care of those rebels for us was amazing. Uh, but for the most part, I mean, they didn't do kind of anything for us. Um... They really did not, so that was cool. And uh, while I'm on the subject, too, let's go ahead and make sure that we improve our relationship with Austria. We've got to keep it at 190 if we ever want to integrate them within our empire by 1805. But anyways, we're looking good. This is awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.